Okay, um, so I was just listening to um, LBC uh, with Nick Ferrari um, and Rory Stewart was being interviewed. Um, he was taking questions from the public. Um, I, I think that Rory Stewart is by far, has by far the most interesting backstory of not only all the leadership candidates in the Tory race to be the next Prime Minister, but surely one of the most interesting backgrounds to any MP. Um, and I think it's unfortunate that this guy isn't better known with the public. I think he's even more interesting than Boris Johnson as a backstory. Um, and I think there is... Um, there's a lot of talking points here. I'm not going to get into a hugely comprehensive sort of uh, take on his life, his uh, policies or anything like that. So I'm just going to make it surface level. That would be a missing part me also for the media article because I want to inform myself more. Uh, I first became familiar with Rory Stewart around the time of the 2014 Scotland referendum when he... Um, in his capacity as uh, an MP on the borders, he's the most northern MP in this race. In this race, um, and he represents the. Um, let me just get this correct. He's the MP for Penrith on the border. Um, he was very energetic in the Better Together campaign. Um, he's got a sizeable majority there, fifteen thousand nine hundred and ten. He was born in British Hong Kong. He has spent time in the Middle East and in South Asia, in Afghanistan and Iraq. He was none other than the Coalition Provisional Authority Deputy Governorate Coordinator in Maysan and Deputy Governorate Coordinator Senior Advisor in Dakar provinces in Iraq. And in that capacity, he was settling tribal disputes. In 2002, he famously walked across northern Afghanistan part of it alone. I mean, this is incredible. Apparently, in 2012, Brad Pitt purchased the film rights to potentially make a film about this, and books were published in that capacity. He attended Harvard University. He apparently tutored Princess William and Harry. I mean, this guy has an incredible backstory, and he's only 46. My gut feeling is he's not going to win. I don't think he's well known enough um, in the country. And I think he did vote Remain in the referendum. I think probably the Tories will go for someone who voted Leave. But if he doesn't win the leadership race, I would very much like to see Rory Stewart as the next Foreign Secretary. There were a few things about this interview with Nick Ferrari that I wasn't too sure about. Um, he was asked about the Huawei contract, which of course Donald Trump is criticising. Um, Stuart says he completely supports Theresa May's decision and he's confident that we're secure on that. I think he's wrong about that. Um, I don't think that the Chinese government can be trusted. And I am not frankly um, that confident that our security systems are strong enough to um, stop the Chinese regime from trying something if we go ahead with Huawei. So I think he's wrong about that. He also was asked about um, prisons because he was a minister for prisons. Um, and he said, we lock up too many people. Now, to be fair, his record as prisons minister is a lot more comprehensive than that. But I disagree that we lock up too many people. I believe that violent people belong behind bars. But um, in his record as prisons minister, he did propose stronger security for um, the the security gates in prisons. Now, that seems sensible, you know, to stop drugs getting in. Um, he acknowledged that there is a severe problem in the prison system. Um, he is, he has got a lot of ministerial experience. Um, he's currently the Secretary of State for International Development. And contrary to what some of his critics might think, he actually believes that we spend enough as it is, and he doesn't want to increase aid spending. Um, when he became chair of the Defence Select Committee, he was the youngest ever chair of a parliamentary select committee, apparently. Um, he was parliamentary under Secretary of State for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs. 
Minister of State for International Development. Um, he's now the Secretary of State in that role. He was Minister of State for Africa, Minister of State for Prisons, um, and he is probably the most travelled of all the candidates, with the possible exception of Jeremy Hunt. Um, so I really think Rory Stewart's worth paying attention to. Um, I mean, one thing that's notable is he gives direct answers. He's thoughtful. He's clearly smart. He gives direct answers, and he is very much the adult in the room. Um, if he has any flaws, he's a little bit like Tony Blair. I think there's aspects of that. Now, Tony Blair won three general elections, but he was also seen as a bit of an image man. I don't think Stuart is, actually. I think Stuart is quite... Um, He's a thoughtful politician, but there are similarities, I think, in style to Tony Blair in terms of um, intellect, in terms of, uh, I don't know, just delivery. I could see some echoes. I, I sort of see him as a Tory Tony Blair with an even more interesting backstory. Um, put it this way, if Rory Stewart wins this race, I'll be pretty happy with him as Prime Minister. I don't think he's going to. Um, I don't think he's well known enough by the public and I don't think he'll get enough support within the party. He only has four MPs at the moment, so I don't think he's going to win. I would really like to see him as a foreign secretary. I mean, my goodness, I can't think of anyone more experienced for that role. Um, yeah, he's definitely someone worth watching. I'm not going to say, you know, I support everything he believes in or I support everything that he was he would propose as policies you know i need to study him a bit more i need to listen to him um it may well be that there'll be areas i don't agree with and i might change my mind pretty fast um some of the questions people were asking him they were sort of pigeonholing him as an obstructionist and not actually listening to his answers um he wants to leave the EU. He may have voted Remain, but he, he wants to leave the EU and he wants to leave all its institutions. But I think he made a very valid point. We would have left the EU by now if the Tory, if some of his colleagues were not having this tunnel vision, not his words, sort of obstructionist thing with everything that May proposed. Now, maybe her her proposals were flawed, but here's the thing. We could be heading to a no-deal Brexit and. I agree with Stuart. I don't think that is the best way forward. Um, I mean, here's one issue I'll take with Brexiteers. I totally understand we need to leave the EU. That's what people vote for. But when they're pushing for a no deal, to me, that's like saying you want no relations whatsoever with the rest of the European Union or with our EU neighbours when we leave. I mean, what is a no deal? If you're saying there should be no sort of discussion with the EU, I totally understand the argument about taking back control and we don't want to be um, shackled by EU legislation. That's a very valid point, but no deal, I am absolutely not convinced by, by that. I just think it's incorrect. People were accusing him of being naive. I think that's naive. So that's my take on Rory Stewart. I hope he does well. I hope he has a good performance because I could definitely see him as a foreign secretary. I really don't think he's going to win. If I were a Tory MP, I would definitely consider supporting him. At the moment, I find him the most interesting candidate. I think... I don't think Johnson will win, actually, because although Johnson's a favourite, Tory leadership contests tend to not produce the favourite as a leader. I think they're probably going to play it safe. I think it's probably going to be Jeremy Hunt. Yeah, I think it's probably going to be Jerry, Jeremy Hunt. I'm okay with that. I can see Hunt as a Prime Minister, but I'm not sure he's the best candidate. I don't know. Um, I definitely don't want to see Esther McVeigh. I uh, really don't like that woman's record at the DWP, but that's, that's that. Time will tell. But that's my thoughts on Rory Stewart. Um... If you look at his Wikipedia article, if you look at his record, this guy is no fool. This guy has significant experience outside politics. And I honestly think he, people should at least reflect a little bit. 
on him. And if nothing else, he's the adult in the room. I think he's a thoughtful, smart politician, and I think he's worth paying attention to.